All right, let's check back in with Craig Setzer. And Craig, the rain is here and the tropics are heating up. Yeah, rain is here and it's not hot here. I guess that's the only upside of that, but the tropics are heating up, as you say, as we continue to watch Tropical Storm Cristobal way down in the southern Gulf of Mexico, but a big, big moisture shield that is reaching south for a little disturbance coming across the northern Gulf. It's helping to enhance the rainfall. There it is as of this afternoon. It had it made landfall uh, earlier today. Now the center is over land and the computer models basically have it stall there through Friday and then begin to move to the north. The more reliable water models here in white uh, and some of those models contain a blend of the better models, which uh, sometimes works out better than the individual models themselves. But as you can see, it's basically to the north and no big surprises expected with this. The center's not going to reform over here and then it's going to come towards Florida. The atmospheric steering currents are fairly, fairly certain with it. The unknown is the timing, how quickly it's going to get to the north and the intensity right now. It doesn't look like it's going to be a hurricane, but obviously we watch uh, for that possibility. Winds at 50 miles an hour now forecast to weaken some to a tropical depression and then strengthen once again as it gets back over the Gulf region, the northern Gulf of Mexico sometime late on Sunday or even into early on Monday. Here's our Windjam Resort camera this afternoon looking pretty stormy out there. Seas are up on that easterly breeze. High was 87, the low 75. Fairly close to the normals despite the clouds. Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 84 and 75 and 84 and 75 in Key West. The radar right now showing the showers starting to increase once again. So if you're out and about this evening, watch out. Could be some brief downpours as well as some street flooding. We've seen plenty of rain today. The biggest storms are over the Everglades. They are trying to come eastward. We also have some showers now working their way through the Keys. And the bigger picture, looking very wet on the radar. Showers and thunderstorms now on the Cuban coast. Moving to the north, they'll be here later on tonight. There's the breeze southeast, anywhere from about 6 to 12 miles an hour. Current temperatures mainly in the low to mid 80s right now. Nothing too extreme temperature wise, just thanks to all the clouds and the satellite loop through the day. Today. We had a little bit of sun early on, but wow, ever since then it's been cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. That deeper moisture got in here just a little bit ahead of schedule. I thought we'd see a little bit less rain. There's the bigger picture, and you can see it is quite a mess. Storms also in the deep south. Temperatures in the 90s, 80s, and 70s in the northeast today. Some lingering clouds. Earlier, some big storms moving through Philly. Temperatures in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Our forecast for tonight. Storms are likely. Some heavy downpours. Watch out for street flooding a low near 76. Tomorrow, passing storms. Heavy downpours continue. Street flooding as well as maybe even more widespread flooding. The flood watch is in effect. High near 84. Pollen count showing everything is looking pretty moldy out there and taking us through the rest of the week. Stormy for your Thursday, stormy on Friday and over the weekend, looking a little bit less stormy. Back to you.